Good morning, everyone. So it is um, Friday morning and I'm on my way to Japan. Um, I just got here and I'm avoiding all of these lines by checking in at the self check-in and then I'm carrying on my bag. So I'm going for five days, but this handy dandy um, Diamond Person Book bag has literally gotten me through Europe since I was 15, through Asia, it's just the best. So definitely avoid the lines if at all possible and take a carry-on bag. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go check in. I'm definitely really, really early, but I'm just gonna watch some movies and relax and then get ready to go. Bye guys. Good morning everyone. So it is Saturday morning and right now I'm in Harajuku at um, the Tokyo Plaza. And this is a gorgeous building. Um, just down here on the sixth floor, there's like this rooftop garden. And then the first floor, there's like this gorgeous entranceway that I'm gonna go take some photos and explore a bit. Then I think we're gonna head to a shrine and just sort of have a day of wandering around, which I'm really excited about. I just had a chia pot and um, some green tea latte, you know, because it's me. Uh, so I'm gonna go explore and then I will come show you guys what I'm doing for the day. This is just one of the coolest entrance ways I've ever seen. So let me move over so you guys can see it. I feel like this is going to be, it's not open yet because the thing doesn't open until 11, but can you see like all of that insanity that's currently happening? It's amazing. So definitely Instagrammable. I would highly recommend checking this out if you're in the area. Um, so many cool shops and it's definitely like the shopping district here and just, I'm excited to wander around and explore. the National Arts Center which is in um, Rapungi. it's really close to Rapungi, and it is absolutely just one of these beautiful breathtaking spaces it's all of this glass and it's gorgeous and they have galleries and exhibits that happen just to walk around and enter is obviously free um, the galleries you might pay for and some of them are free in for Rapungi Hills and I'm gonna go up there to the skywalk uh, I made a reservation so I'll probably go on Tuesday because it's so busy right now since this is a weekend and I have the ability to go on a weekday so I will um, but I just want to recommend this um, really cool statue to check out if you come to Rapunky Hills for the view the city view is gorgeous you should definitely check out this sculpture I'm in Asakusa and I'm exploring. This neighborhood is super cool. It's kind of like a Junju neighborhood where it has traditional vibes and you have lots of great food, lots of tourists, but definitely a beautiful spot. I'm heading over here to the temple. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, so I'm heading there now and let's show you guys some cool things and we'll wander around a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's been a really good day and the weather is beautiful, but tomorrow's gonna snow. Okay, and it's called Milks and it's in Ibisu. 
So right now I got the, let's see if you guys can see, the ice cream and then you get to pick two different liquors. Um, obviously I went for non-alcoholic ones. I got the camel and the chocolate and cookies. But they also have regular alcohol so you can get like whiskey and things like that and you can put a shot with it. Um, they also have beautiful cakes and for it's about 12000 um, to about 11 or $12 to get this one and it's super cute and gets sitting in great chairs so definitely check it out. Good morning everyone, so it is the third day and I'm currently at a little cafe, it's called, let's see, I think it's called Coco, uh, Choco maybe, um, but it's like a little sort of cafe and I'm just having a green tea latte, um, getting ready for the day, so today's going to be sort of rainy and snowy and cold, but I'm going to this really cool arcade in uh, Kawasaki, so I'm heading down there to meet a friend and we're going to explore and I'm really loving Japan so much, like I was just talking to my sister about it, that the city is just so beautiful and people are really kind and it's been just so easy to like travel and explore. Um, definitely people say that it's very expensive, which I see, but I feel like you could definitely do things that are less expensive. Um, I definitely spend most of my money on food and water, <laughs> um, but it's just so pretty. I'm really like enjoying this trip, so I have today and tomorrow, and then I'm heading back to Seoul, um, and I feel like you know, this is a good amount of time, but I wish I had a little longer to explore, but so much fun. Hey guys, so. so right now we are going into this giant warehouse game center. It's Anata uh, No Warehouse, and we're in Kawasaki. I'm going to show you guys around. It looks insane. Let's check it out. And can you see this insane, like surreal cyberpunk arcade? So on this side, you have all like the claw games. Let's see if you guys can see it. Upstairs, you have like more billiards, a little bit older vibe. Um, my friend actually won from the claw machine, which is awesome. But it's free to enter. You just pay for the different one, like games and activities you want to play. And I really came to see this because it's so cool. Like definitely the coolest arcade I've ever been to. Um, fun, and I feel like if you had a big group of friends, this would be like a great way to spend a rainy afternoon. Right now it's snowing, so this is kind of perfect for us. And it is just so cool. So it's about a 10 minute walk from Kawasaki uh, train station and definitely worth a wander if you are into this kind of thing. So cool. and we are having a matcha. Look how pretty those hearts are. <laughs> so we've been exploring. It's about 15 minutes from the station, but most excitingly right now, it is the first snow in Japan this year, and I'm here for it, which makes me happy because you know I love snow, and it's so pretty. So right now it is like snowing in Tokyo. It's the first snow of the year, and I'm here for it, so I feel very lucky. But that basically means the city is like shutting down. And apparently they can't handle like one inch of snow. So all the subway lines are delayed, um, tons of things aren't running. So I'm actually in Shibuya, which is only one stop away from my house, and I'm gonna walk through, this is 109, which is like a famous shopping spot. And then I am heading to a movie, sort of just to have a relax and like enjoy it. Um, I got the tickets already, so I'm good to go in case everyone had floods over there. Um, but I'm just gonna sort of have a nice little explore and like, what's interesting, there's tons of Korean being played in here and tons of Korean companies, so I'm like, very curious like the influence is strong but it's just cool to do a little bit of shopping have a little bit of an explore and enjoy the snowy day and this temple 
temple has thousands of these little uh, cat statues and I think they're called Manaki Neko, though I'm probably saying that wrong, I apologize. It is a beautiful structure and as you can see it just snowed. So I came here through about half a foot of snow that hasn't been shoveled yet to come see these and I'm not disappointed. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's um, a bunch of different types of temples here. So you have Shinto and you have Buddhist and they are just so gorgeous and I feel like these statues really make this temple unique and just so beautiful so if you get the chance definitely check it out it is about um, a 10 minute walk from the station but it took me about 20 because it's half a foot of snow but it is so beautiful and peaceful and I'm the only person here except for the people shoveling <laughs> so definitely check it out if you guys come to Japan and put it on your list if you want to visit a unique temple talk a little bit about um, just like solo travel and like making the most of your time uh, a lot of people like ask me you know how do you get the motivation to get up and do these things and it's because of mornings like this like I came to a tiny little town on the outskirts of Tokyo City and it's covered in snow and I'm trudging through like half a foot of snow but it is beautiful and I got to go to this temple that was peaceful and I was the only one there and see something unique that I would never see again and talk to some of the locals that actually a family behind me I was chatting with they're taking their granddaughter to school and they spoke English but they lived in California for a while and it's just that kind of you know you don't get those experiences unless you get up and go and I just think everyone should just make the most of your travels and even if you're alone go out and explore get up early and you could be the first person to see it because the snow is melting and it was magical um, you know while it was here and just having one day with like that perfect temple so absolutely go on adventures and find beautiful places. At the Tokyo uh, Sky View and it's in the Mori Arts Center building so for about 1,800 yen or $18 you get to see this view which is just epic and right now everything's covered in snow and you also get entrance to the um, Mori Art Museum which is currently having like a Final Fantasy um, exhibit so if you're into that definitely come check it out it's one of the prettiest views I've ever seen and for me having a view of the tower is definitely better than being in the tower looking out um, so it is just so gorgeous I highly recommend checking it out it's on the 52nd floor and you can get here from exit 3 of a Pungi station, just turn left and you just walk for about two or three minutes and you'll get to see this insane view. Okay. into the giant sky wheel. I'm a little bit scared, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I'm in a massage chair. It's two dollars for 20 minutes, which seems like a good deal right now because I'm like my whole body is aching. Um, in the past like three days, I walked like 60 kilometers. Um, I don't know how I've done that. Now I'm shaking. I'm sorry, guys. But yes, yeah, so my whole body hurts. So this is like perfect, and I'm in this like little cubicle. How cute is that? So I'm just waiting. My flight leaves in an hour, and also I got an upgrade on the flight just from being nice and it was free um the woman when i got to counter like they ha we had to wait like 30 minutes um from when we we're supposed to start because there was some issue with the system and i was like oh good morning how are you and she's like oh you're so nice and i was like oh can i sit as close to the front as possible and she gave me um an upgraded seat so i'm like yes i'm really happy so time to relax see you guys soon